watching you, you walking around, you making jokes about Rick James because you've seen it on the Chappelle show. These little kids are listening to you. They emulate what you do. I rap, I hear rappers all the time. They use these situations as punchlines in their songs. I've heard about Chris Brown and Rihanna 20 times this week. It's not funny. It's not. And also, parents, don't downplay your baby father, baby mother, however, if you're not with the person, don't talk about them around your kids. The kids do not need to hear Because I used to hear my mother say, I went to school with an attitude every day. I'm mad. Because my father wasn't this, your father, you gonna be like your father. No, you, 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 you leave the house with a, a bad attitude, you're in a bad mood. So when you come across somebody in school, they're joking with you, you don't know that, you don't even realize they're playing, you in a bad mood, you don't feel like playing, now you in a fight. So just just watch what you do and, and the people that's around you because it's always somebody watching. That's good. Oh, Nana, thank you so much. Go ahead, Nana. All right, we're going to take it over here to the young lady in the gray hoodie. Oh, my name is Carmen. I'm a member of Union Temple. And my question is, how do you break the cycle? From, especially from my point, I'm an outsider and I see what's going on, but the inside household is like, there's nothing wrong. So how do you get this type of broken? You have to, you have to, are you speaking of for a neighbor or a friend? For a neighbor or a friend, it, it is um, law now. MPD can lock up someone even if they don't witness the action taking place. A long time ago, they had to witness the domestic violence taking place. But now DC has in place laws that they don't have to witness it. So you can pick up the phone and dial 911 and say, I need you to come next door to my house. There's something going on right now. And when they get there and they investigate or see the signs of some sort of domestic violence, they, they can determine then to make an arrest. If y'all know a young lady that was in DC who was killed in her apartment on the phone, what happened was the same situation. She's, you know, a family member, whatever. But she ended up saying, no, this was not going on. There can be so much shame in inv involved in saying that this is what happened, what is happening, and letting people know that you're there and that you're not judging them. Because it is easy when you're watching a friend or a loved one go through this to get tired. You feel like you're reaching out and you're reaching out and you're like, oh, nothing's going on, oh no. Um, but rather than going that route about how angry you are and how angry you are with them, I'm worried about your safety. And there are, there are organizations that can help you stay, stay safe and you deserve to be treated well. And pointing out strengths, just like we, we, we were saying earlier, hearing so many times all the bad things about yourself when you have a person who's there saying you are smart and beautiful and wonderful and I love how you do this saying stuff you mean don't say stuff you don't mean say stuff that's real and that they know that you believe because you can feel that when somebody believes what they're saying being there constantly saying positive things and letting them make the choices because they're going to make their own choices people make their own choices <clears throat> be there when they're ready to make a different choice knowing and they know that you've supported them throughout and that you see good things in them and you believe that they deserve good things and don't you don't have to try to do it yourself there are organizations that you can call the dc coalition against domestic violence has a bunch of stuff on their website you can call my sister's place 24-hour hotline you can call weave and uh, say if you can safety plan to figure out one of the people who emailed earlier want to know how to get out Look at your situation. You know what's safe. You know how to do that. And listen, listening to what you think is safe and finding somebody to talk to about it because sometimes it's good to get perspective because you're, when you're so in it, it's hard to see. So. And that uh, just answered another question that was posted on streamingfaith.com and it was, what can I do to help someone in an abusive 